Hello, welcome to tutorial number 37, the bucket fill. Uh, I think anybody who knows about painting programs probably has heard of the bucket fill before. Here we've got the picture of a bucket, so we will click on that to use our bucket fill. Now our normal uh, bucket fill is just set, so if you click on a color in your image, it will pour paint from the foreground color into that area. So that's a simple example of using the bucket fill right there. Now the bucket fill, you can use any of the modes that we have with our other paint tools. And the opacity also will affect your bucket tool when you're pouring and filling. You can choose to fill with the foreground color, the current background color, or a pattern. And again, there are a ton of different patterns to choose. If you click on pattern, choose the pattern that you want. Normally, by default, it just fills similar colors like we just did. I clicked on an area and it just filled in everything, sort of like when we did the fuzzy select. But if you want to fill the whole selection, then you can click here and it doesn't matter where in the selection you click, it's going to just fill the whole selection. I'm going to just put this back so we don't mess up my defaults. We're going to there. And when you're filling, whether you want to fill in transparent er areas also, if you don't want to, you can uncheck this. Sample merge is whether you want, when you click on a single color and you're doing fill similar colors, whether it's taken into consideration layers underneath the layer that you're currently working on. And threshold, again, this is only an option when you're using fill similar colors. Like with the fuzzy select, the bigger the threshold, the more of the area it will fill in. And whether it should choose those colors based on the entire color or whether you want to choose it based on just the red, green, the hue, or any of those different options. And really, that's about all there is to the bucket fill. It's a, definitely a fun thing where you can fill in areas very quickly with one click. Uh, next, we're going to be going on to uh, the blend tool. So we'll uh, see you in the next video for the blend tool. Bye.